our human rights in Scotland are set out and protected by a range of international laws and agreements. The United Nations, or the UN, has written documents called treaties. These list people's rights and say what governments should do to protect them. The UK government has agreed to most, but not all, of these treaties. The UK and Scottish parliaments and governments have legal obligations to do what these treaties say. This means it is their duty. The treaties that the UK has agreed to include one to protect civil and political rights, like rights to life, liberty, which means freedom, a fair trial, freedom of information, the right to vote and participate. The UK has also agreed to a treaty that sets out economic, social and cultural rights, like our rights to access food, a home, health and fair treatment at work. Other treaties protect the rights of specific groups of people. This includes a treaty against racial discrimination, one against discrimination towards women and girls, one to protect the rights of disabled people, and another to protect the rights of children and young people. Finally, the UK has agreed to a treaty that says governments must not torture people or treat them in a way that is inhuman or degrading. The United Nations checks and reports on how each country is doing in protecting people's human rights. It does this for each individual treaty by getting feedback and reports from the government from organisations that work with people whose rights are affected, like charities, advocacy groups and trade unions, and from independent organisations like the Scottish Human Rights Commission. The UN then writes a report to share what it has found and makes recommendations for the governments to follow up. Once every four to five years, the UN also carries out a full review of a country's human rights performance as a whole. This is called the Universal Periodic Review, or UPR for short. The UK, and Scotland as part of it, received its latest UPR report from the UN in 2017. The UN made recommendations for action on many human rights issues, including poverty, domestic abuse and violence, access to justice, mental health, social security and more. To find out more about the UPR and individual human rights treaties, visit www.scottishhumanrights.com.